He shoots, he scores. Terrence Mann knows basketball. As one of Florida State's Herald incoming freshmen this season, all eyes have been on Mann to see if he can live up to the high expectations set for him before the season even began. A key component on the Seminole roster in what has been predicted as a comeback season, the four-star recruit has continually come up clutch for the Knolls from the moment he first set foot on the court. Well, Terrence is awesome this team, made um, very funny, very energetic, brings a lot of energy to our team. He's a guy that can play multiple positions, he's a utility guy. Um, the things he brings to the team, he can play any position, that's the main thing. Man's basketball wits and ability to handle pressure are more deeply rooted than a typical freshman athlete. His connection to the game was fostered at an early age and through a familial bond, a bond shared with his mother. From St. John's to Rhode Island, Man picked up a lot from her before ever picking up the game on his own. What came first uh, was probably watching my mom as a basketball coach. Going to her practices when I was younger, a little baby, I would go to all her practices. I would start off courtside before the game and practices, watch it a lot, and then they'd obviously move me up to the stands once the game started. For practice, I always stood courtside. I would be on the empty baskets, shooting by myself, trying to do what they're doing. The prevalence of basketball in his life is what made man fall in love with the game. Yet the influence of his mother's role as a coach on and off the court is what fostered one of the Seminoles team's most gifted basketball minds. I was always uh, enamored about how much he wanted to talk about the game and how much he knew the game. Even at a young age, uh, you knew that he was going to be a big time player because he loved it so much and it wasn't uh, because his mother was pushing him, it was because he was pushing his mother. <laughs> Coach Young never lacks in paying a compliment to man. Their bond goes even further than just player and coach. It all began several years back when Coach Young met man's mother, Danielle LaForce. I was a, at a coach's convention in um, probably in 1999, 2000. And she was a young and up and coming assistant. I, I was an assistant also, and we were in a couple different uh, lectures and seminars together. and. Um, we started talking about her two sons, that she wanted to be basketball players. And uh, the relationship just kind of grew from there. I met Coach Young when I was 14, I think, over the phone. It was always over the phone, it was never in person. He helped me out. Uh, my dad wasn't always around, so it was good to talk to a guy, you know, an older guy who knew a lot about basketball. Sometimes aiding as a male voice in man's life, sometimes a mediator between mother and son, Coach Young has been providing support in the athlete's life for years. It was like family. Um, we talked the game. We talked about what was going on in his life. We talked about him growing up and his goals and you know what the struggles he was going, he was having, whether it personal or basketball. So it was really easy to recruit him, um, just because we became so close at a, at an early age. I think it was a trust factor there. And that very bond is what led the Massachusetts native all the way down to Tallahassee. Now with Seminole, man continues to grow as an athlete, a leader, and a teammate. Terrence is definitely an encourager. Um, he's the guy that if you do something bad, you go see him and give you a high five. In uh, the locker room, he, he likes to dance a lot. Uh, he, he loves to twerk. That's his main thing. He loves twerking a whole lot. He's pretty good at it, if I have to say so myself. He's such a good person. He's such a great leader. He's such a great teammate. Uh, he wants everybody to do well, and, and, and that's something that's just in him. He's a winner. Uh, he's, a, he's a very caring and compassionate person, you know, even uh, when he deals with me. While Terrence Mann looks to close out his rookie season with a chance to dance in March, he'll face a few more mountains to climb with his teammates. Yet the very infectious, encouraging energy he brings to a bench could be just what's needed to propel the nose forward to success this season. I'm Lauren Vickers, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.